Hello, good day, and welcome to Encouragement and Prayer Ministries. I want to thank you for watching the video, sharing the video with your family and your friends, so together we can be an encouragement to others, and together we can share the gospel. Let me read from the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 1. God arrives. Let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Let's look at two words here. God and arise. The Hebrew word for God used here is Elohim. God's in ordinary. It means God's in ordinary sense. Typically used plural, especially wonderful. Supreme God, Hebrew word for arise. Whom to rise, literally or figuratively, physically and positively. Abide, accomplish, clear, confirm. Continue degree good hold lift up again take newly ordain form pitch raise again house up set up publish end up and succeed. Let's talk about God. Our God is one God in three persons. Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. From 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 2. To you, and peace from God, the Father, and the Son, Jesus Christ. 1 John 4, 15 he confesses that Jesus is the Son of God and abides in Him and He in God. Jesus, Son, and the Father are God. One does not do anything without the other. John chapter 1, verses 1 to 5 The beginning was the Word and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and apart from Him nothing came into being that has come into being. In Him, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, but the darkness did not comprehend it. Clear here that Jesus is God. Has, has always been with the Father. He created everything into, into existence. Let's look at John chap chapter 10, verse 30. Father, who has given who has given them to me, who is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Let's look at Gen Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the sky, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. This verse, see God talking in the plural. Does not us. There's more than one person here. Make our image according to our liking. And this is more than one person. There is more than one person. And God is a trinity made up of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ. The Christ, the Messiah, 
and the Holy Spirit. Read from Matthew chapter 28, 18 until 20. He came up and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me, heaven and earth. Both are built and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Jesus has authority, and he gives us authority to disciples and to baptize. Baptized not just in the name of the Father or the Son or the Holy Spirit, but we baptize to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. God is supreme. Supreme is the highest in rank or authority. Supreme greatest in the green quality or intensity god being supreme is characterized highest excellence achievement from john chapter 3 verse 31 he who comes from above is above all he who is of the earth is from the earth and speaks of the earth. He comes from heaven, is above all. So Jesus stands from heaven, as he is God. Jesus may have descended from heaven, is above all. Psalms chapter 135, verse 5. For I know the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. This here is spelled with a little g. It refers to the gods of the world, things that we make more important than one true God. Above all, who is supreme, to refers God's enemy. So, who is Satan of the things that follow angels that follow after Satan? He said, He has authority. All authority comes from God. In from Matthew chapter 9, verse 8. When the crowd saw this, they were awestruck and glorified God. Who had given such authority? And men. Savior that God has authority and he gives authority in his image. Um, you have a, a choice to either accept God's authority or to reject God's authority. From Jude chapter, chapter 1, verse 8. And in the same way, these men also, by dreaming, defile the flesh. And reject authority and rival angelic majesties. Who can reject God's authority? Rejecting God's authority, you become an enemy of God. Let's look, from, look at James chapter 4, verse 4. Criticisms. Do you not know that friendship with the world is hostility for God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. He chews the things of the world. He make the world you reject God. Himself an enemy of God. So read from Psalm chapter 74, verse 10. Psalm of God with an adversary rival, and an enemy spurned your name forever. For God's enemy speaks against him. He speaks against God. He speaks in a way that will 
from a deep pain on to God. You will even hear people who do not accept his name inappropriately. Even jokes are inappropriate for the one supreme God. Ones who accept God's authority. But let Jesus, the Lord, may become righteous. Look at Psalm chapter 68, verse 3. Let the righteous be glad. Let them exalt before God. We do not receive righteousness on our own behalf. Our righteousness is due to us from God. Accept his authority. Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. His righteousness on you has not seen your sins. God has been raised up and will raise us up. Jesus was lifted up. John chapter 3, verses 14 to 16. Put up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that whoever believes will, believes will in him have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This was lifted up. Put on the cross. Crucified, place of a guilty man, became our sacrifice. Being innocent, he died. The guilty, confess that he is God, and believe that he died for them and rose from the grave. Look at John chapter 12, 32 and 33. I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to myself. But he was saying this to indicate the kind of death of which he was to die. Because Jesus was raised up right on the cross. He died on the cross. We come to him. We are drawn to his death. Because he died for us to receive love us. He died for us, was raised to a place of honor. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12. He having offered one sacrifice for sins for all, and sat down at the right hand of God. The right hand is a place of honor. He is a honor. Because he was obedient to his father, to the cross, to his death. Revelations chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. He I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was standing in heaven, and one was sitting on the throne. And he who was sitting was like a jasper stone and a serpius appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne, like an emerald in the hills. Don't represents sovereignty. Our Lord is sovereign. From the throne, rules has authority. In Ezekiel chapter 1, 20, verses 26 to 28. All this that expands, what was over the heads, there was something resembling a stone, like Bacchus. The zooming in appearance, and on that which represented the throne, high up, was a figure with the appearance of a man. Then I noticed from the appearance of his loins and upward something like a glowing metal that looked like fire all around within. And from the appearance of his loins and downward, I saw something like a fire, and there was a radiance around him. As the appearance of the rainbow, the clouds of a rainy day, 
So was the appearance of the surrounding radiance. Such was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. When I saw it, I fell to my knees, and I heard a voice speaking. Our God will also arise in us, raises us up. This is from death, eternal life. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5. If we were dead in our transgress transgressions, you made us alive in Christ. By grace, you have been saved. Who believes in Jesus Christ is from death. Who believes in raised in victory. At 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57. Be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. Because of our belief in Him, I have to face eternal death. I'm given life from death. And we are made victorious over death. Luke 11. To show guidance, the people fall. But in abundance of counsels, counselors, there is victory. Believer or Christian, we have guidance. We have guidance in the Father, Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, guides us. The Spirit also guides us. Through their guidance, and victory. It also gives other office grow. Pastors to your brother and sister in Christ to encourage each other so we can also be victorious. From First Thessalonians 4 verses 13 to 17. I do not want you to be on the throne, brethren, with those who are asleep, so that you will not grieve as do the rest, you will have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep from Jesus. For in this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will not receive those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. One day, you know, we have pray, experience physical death, who still alive, and raised up, who will arise from this world to meet our Lord Jesus in the air. Closing, our God. Father, who is supreme, and has authority, raises himself up. The Father raised up his Son, Jesus, because of his obedience, is placed up in heaven, crucified on the cross, our sins. To accept, will be made righteous. God's righteousness. We are raised up, dead, and given eternal life, raised up in victory. One day, I believe Jesus in Jesus, died and rose from the grave, rise, put in a shout, 
we will meet Jesus in the clouds. Okay? No one knows. We need to be ready. Except today. Jesus, no. Not be left behind. Jesus, just his church, labors for the gospel of Jesus Christ. God, arise in you. You will arise. Pause us up. Father, thank you that you are a supreme God, authority over all, authority over life, and you have authority over death. That we accept your authority, we accept Jesus, believe in him, victory over death. That day, you call your believers, you call your bride, this world, and you raise us up to meet you in the air, in the clouds. I, somewhere right here, this message, not accepted God's authority. They have not accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Hearing this message, Make Jesus your Lord, your Savior. You accept His authority over your life. Accept His guidance for life that we to live. A life that is pure, a life that is holy, and a life that is sinless. In His name, Amen. I want to give you the opportunity today that you believe that Jesus Christ is God, came to earth, sinless, died for you, and rose from the grave. Today, you can confess your sins and ask for the goodness. I ask you to repeat after me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I'm sorry for my sins, and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. Jesus' name, amen. I want to encourage you to grow in your faith. You need to read God's Word, the Bible, every day. Take time reading it, thinking about what God is saying to you. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you to reveal message to you every day. Every day, take time to to your heavenly thoughts. On your heart, don't understand. Take time, listen to what he has to say to you. Fellowship, other believers who will encourage you who will strengthen you, who will make you sure, so you will live the life that you are supposed to live, that is pure, holy, and sinless.
I'd like to invite you to attend services today here at Victory Super. This time is every Sunday at 10 a.m. and again at 4 p.m. Let's go ahead and go inside. Services with me. Become a part of the Victory family.